Virgo, how's it going? <clears throat> I hope everything is going as well as it can be. <sighs> if I look like, I feel like my eyes look different right now. So if I look like I've been like crying my eyes out, I have. Um, my family, my sister in particular, <clears throat> um, lost her mom. So, been grieving these past past few days. Been grieving that. Um, so yeah, I won't dive too much deeper into that, Virgo. And not that you all need to take on <clears throat> that energy, but, um, you know, I, we were, me and a woman named Rainy, her daughter, her daughter's name was Sage and her name was Rainy and we were talking and she told me that she lost her oldest daughter. And we cried about that on top of what was going on already. It was just like very emotional. So like, I'm only sharing this Virgo because I'm, I turned on the camera and I was like, whoa, your eyes look different. They look sad, my eyes look sad. And um, so we were, you know, talking about that. And I told her, I said, you know, this really speaks to this quote that I saw where it said, the price of love is pain or the cost of love is pain. It's true, like you love someone and you love each other, you know, especially when the love is real and, you know, good, bad and different. <clears throat> and inevitably you have to move on from this lifetime you know even even if you're someone who's spiritually awake um it's still sad you know you still um miss those people so so, all right, Virgo. <laughs> Look what came up as I'm like tearing up. Soul contract. And unexpected outcome. Things didn't go as planned. Mm. Soul contract and things didn't go as planned. Maybe that's what's going on, Virgo, in your world. But I want to ask the questions directly, so. Maybe, maybe someone needed to hear that. This gets on my nerves sometimes. Sometimes we need an emotional catharsis. All right. <clears throat> Virgo, we're going to get into your reading and see what's going on with you and the person on your mind right now. If this reading hits, makes sense to you. If you enjoy the reading, feel free to hit the like button, um, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it so much. If you do choose to subscribe, be sure to uh, hit the notifications bell so that you get notified for the reading, okay? All right, Virgo, we've got, I had to bring my cards with me. <laughs> Um, all right, runner wanted to come out. Here we go, Virgo. How are Virgo and the person on their mind? How are these two moving forward together right now? How are Virgo and the person on their mind? How are these two overwhelmed? Okay, the stress from this is draining me. Okay.
That could be you, Virgo. Feeling stressed um, about what's happening in your connection with who this is right now, okay? So I, I say that because Virgo tends to be the overthinker, which serves Virgo in a great way. But I think when it comes to love, I think it's a bit of a uh, Achilles heel for Virgo. All right, here we go, Virgo. Let's see who's showing up for you. I'm saying that in a way where I think some of you may be over over processing something. I could be wrong. I think you could be over processing something here, though. Clarify uh, Virgo's person. <clears throat> How is this person showing up for Virgo right now? Okay. The mouse. Hmm. They also have the otter and the crow. All right. Whoever this is, is uh, very interested in you. Okay. Um... This could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is my Gemini card. This could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We also have Earth. Um, <clears throat> so their dominant energy right now, Virgo, is... Well, it's interesting. Your person, there are things that are overwhelming, whoever this is that I'm picking up on. Um... You know, your person could be, why am I getting taxes? Maybe because it's tax season, like whatever this is, your person could be, you know, going through a lot of paperwork. I'm getting them like processing, like they're going through different like processes of something here. Maybe they have their own business. Okay. You know number of things so there i i do get with the with the mouse um they're reviewing critiquing okay your person's trying to get like some things done organize some things okay so i'm seeing that um but in the midst of it I get a very pleasant energy when it comes to thinking about you, feeling things about you, okay? So the otter usually shows up when this person's like fantasizing, daydreaming. Um, it's, it's my Ten of Cups card, okay? So this person, maybe you... Some of you could be at a distance from who this is, okay? Like, for example, if you live with this person, this person's like fantasizing about, you know, when you're coming back home, um, they miss you. Um, with this crow card, I feel like this person sees a lot like new opportunity with you, Virgo. This can't be somebody new. This person sees new opportunity with you, lots of potential with you. Okay, it's like all, every time I see this crow, he's like sitting on, this is the Ace of Pentacles in my mind. And so your person's like sitting on some sort of like big idea or big plan that they're thinking about when it comes to you. Maybe they're daydreaming about taking some sort of vacation Virgo with you. Okay. They could be figure out, figuring out whoever this is, Virgo. Your person could be like figuring out like, well, how do I do that? Like, how do I get that done? How do I achieve this new thing with Virgo? Okay. Clarify uh, Virgo. Show me Virgo here. How's Virgo showing up with your person right now? Here we go. The peacock. Okay. You've got the dragon and the zebra. Well, very attractive. Whoever 
you are a Virgo. <laughs> Peacock and Zebra are equally both like very attractive, very rare, um, confident, um, eclectic in your style, different than probably, you know, I'm hearing ideal, like you're this person's type, Virgo. Yeah. Mm. The prototype. I hope that you're the one. If not, you are the prototype. Mm -hmm. So whoever this is could think you're the one. Yeah, it's kind of like I see you over there, Virgo, where you're looking at this mouse. And for you, whatever they're overanalyzing or overthinking. Oh, so you're not the overthinker here. My bad, Virgo. Well, from what I get, right? Because you show up with air. Ironically, your person shows up as earth. Okay, so I could have it flipped. I could have it a little backwards. Maybe I do. I don't know. Who gives a shit, right? That's Tyler. I love it when he says that. I do tune into Tyler every so often. And he'll be ta he'll do the reading. He's like, I don't know. Who gives a shit? Okay, so I'm just being funny. I, I give a shit. I give a shit. Okay. So, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't get you being the overthinker here. I think that you... Um, with this, especially with this dragon energy, you have more of a higher perspective or um, this kind of like seeing the bigger picture type of perspective, okay? Um, yeah. Pe peacock energy is someone who can, who's who can uh, uh, sorry, sorry. easily digest things and process, process, you know, process keeps coming up. Um, easily digest things and situations and is very rare. Okay. Peacock energy is also very kind. Okay. Compassionate. You're giving me like very uh, King of Cups energy. Even though you're not showing up with water, you're mainly showing up with fire and air energy, Virgo. But yeah, you're giving me very like King of Cups type of vibe. Like, you know, go with the flow. <clears throat> you could be saying things to this person like, hey, I understand. No worries. All that type of stuff. Um, okay. There you are, hermit. <laughs> Your person could be a bit of a hermit. Um, clarify how these two are moving forward together. Oh, but well, what I was saying is, I apologize. I want to say really quickly, um, with the dragon energy, I feel like you are seeing more like the bigger picture um, and it's interesting because the mouse energy is more from a, like, I don't want to say it like this, but lower perspective. Okay. Yeah. Like it's somebody who overanalyze, overthinks, even, it's even a micromanaging type of energy. Um, you know what I just heard? I heard your person, like, I I just heard this. It was like, they're micromanaging the, the blessing or they are micromanaging the co-creator, source, God. It's like this person is almost like critiquing um, the blessing that's on its way or critiquing God, like, you know... Like how why are you taking so long? You know, talking to talking to source or 
or they don't know that they're doing it. And it's not in that way. A lot of us do it where we're like, we want something to happen. And we say that we are believers or we, you know, for those of us that are, that believe in a higher power, we say that we believe in a higher power, but then we operate out of fear and lack and worry. And it's like, but if you're connected with an all powerful being, then wouldn't you act from a place of abundance, prosperity, you know, uh, power because you're connected to the all powerful energy. So that's what I heard. Like this person, <clears throat> they're, they're doing something. They're operating out of fear and worry. All right. So clarify how these two are moving forward together. The devil and the emperor. Shit. Oh my God. I was not expecting that. That's interesting. Look what came up in reverse. King of Cups in reverse. Temperance and the Queen of Wands. Got a lot of Aries. Aries, Sag, Capricorn, Scorpio. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I'm almost getting like a temper, like if somebody's trying to control their temper. Or maybe your person is trying to exhibit a level of self-control. This looks like someone trying to like control themselves. Um, yeah, I mean, Emperor and the Devil, that's a lot of, it's a lot of control. And then we have overwhelmed, Over, overwhelmed, okay. Um, ooh, the devil and the emperor. This almost feels like a choice to me. Yeah, this feels kind of like a choice going on here where it's like we could, like someone could choose this devil energy. It's like a lower vibration or they could choose. Yeah, I'm getting like there's like, like, like a crossroads type of energy. What do I choose? Do I choose to stay in um, lack, fear, fear of the past or karma or something like that? Or do I like step into this emperor, emperor I was about to say empress, emperor energy where it's like, it's not submitting to what's happening. It's more about like, let me take control. You know, let me, yeah, let me, let me step in here. Almost like there's a way to do things here. There's two ways to do this and there's a choice. Do we go this route or do we go that route? Okay, so hold on, let me keep pulling cards. That to me feels like a choice, okay? Yeah. You know, okay, here's what I'll say. I'm um, getting cold chills. So the devil backwards is lived. So do we stay in a lived energy, something that we've all already lived through? Or, you know, do we process things from a place of, um, you know, prior experience, a life we've already lived? Or do we take that experience 
and process it from a higher place, right? A higher perspective. Um, fear versus abundance, right? Do we operate from a place of pain or power? Okay, so that's what I'm saying. Like there's there's this energy of like, there's a choice here, how to move forward. Um, show me how this person, I'm definitely getting a masculine energy being obsessed. I'm definitely getting that. I mean, that was like the very first thing I was like, whoa. Like somebody really not being able to express themselves. Wow, the lovers. Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this is your person with the five of wands. I feel like this is your person. I was almost getting like even that Queen of Wands with the temper. Temp, temper. You see what I'm saying? It's like, uh, this is your person, the lovers, could be Gemini, but it's like your person, what I saw with the queen of wands and the temperance, it's like they're like trying to control themselves when it comes to you, like temper their, you know, um, energy, could be sexual energy, you know, king of cups in reverse, it's like this, um, feeling of like I want to express myself but I can't it's like having to suppress it okay so your person shows up with the lovers which goes right along with um you know like I said the crow is my Gemini card the otter my um you know ten of cups card so you know Ten of Cups is Pisces. It's very imaginative, okay? So you've ha if you have that combination with uh, the Crow, which, like I said, is like this Gemini energy, there's a fantasy that I'm getting from your person. There's like this fantasy. You could be with who this is, by the way, because it's the Emperor and the Lover. So whoever um, this is, I'm definitely getting a divine union, um, a divine connection, Okay. But within, it's interesting that we have the emperor and the lovers, but within this, you know, divine connection, we have this devil energy present. Like there's this karmic type of very strong karmic energy. Okay, so there's that. Could be some sort of, I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> Hold on. Clarify. Maybe it could be some sort of block, some sort of karmic block. It's Capricorn Scorpio energy. Okay. Um, clarify. Your, your person may be the one worried that this like blocks you too, Virgo. Okay. This devil energy. Clarify. Um, Virgo, okay, the Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Swords in reverse, wanted to come up, all right, so, it's interesting, King of, there's things that are, that are not being expressed here. I feel like the King of Cups in reverse is also like, remember I got King of Cups for you, Virgo. I feel like that's you. King of Cups in reverse with the Queen of Swords in reverse. There's something here that you're not doing that you're not expressing. Okay, because I feel like you're the Emperor. I do. I feel like you're the emperor with this peacock energy, especially. Um, could 
could be something about timing, okay, on your end, Virgo. Like, okay, like you want to, but yeah, you may just feel like it's not the right time. There's something about it that's not right. Could have something to do with fairness, okay? This is Libra energy. Yeah, I feel like that King of Cups, Queen of Swords, that's you. Like, it, there's something here where you're like, based off of my experience, <laughs> um, there's the choice. The choice right now with you, Virgo, I feel, is like, I'm not going to say anything. Maybe it, it's about something in particular. Like, you feel like it's not up to you to say something to your person here about about you know an issue about you know it, it's just like not up to you I kind of get you over here um you know with the eight of pentacles you could just be trusting the process okay you know that there's some sort of like process going on here um and the that's why I get you kind of seeing the bigger picture, Virgo. Um, Eight of Pentacles is about being more process oriented as opposed to results oriented. Okay. Because I think you see a future here with whoever this is. Um, you know, like I said, it, it's going to resonate differently for a number of you. Uh, this could be somebody new. This could be your partner right now. You know, you, you literally could be in the house with them watching this reading. You know what I'm saying? Or you could be at a distance listening to the reading, right? About who this is. It doesn't matter. I do feel like you see the bigger picture. You are not... You're just... You're just um, I, I think with the Emperor energy, either you know this individual well enough... Or I get a big, like, minding my business type of energy with you. <laughs> like, I'm just going to mind my business, do what I do, you know. And whenever they're ready, they'll come in. You, you have a very, like, there's a knowingness about you. Either you know this person well enough or you just, um, a lot of you, Virgo, like, you... You're very, you just have a very confident attitude. You just have, I mean, I'll, I can just leave it at that. You have a very confident attitude to where you're also focused on possibly like some sort of big idea. Like there is something here that you also need to get done and, you know, um, work on. A lot of you are very focused at work. A lot of you, um, you know, the Emperor with the Eight of Pentacles Either you're very focused on um, building, uh, I'm getting retirement. Um, a lot of you are in charge at work. You know, you you are the boss. You are in charge. Okay, so or you're just very. That's where um, your primary focus is. So. With you, I don't know. I think you're in a state of like just trusting the process with whoever this is. I think that you do see a future with who this is. And I think they see a future with you, with the lovers here. It's just the only thing, it's like, it's this devil energy. And you have all major arcana here. Okay, so this definitely is like a divine connection that I'm seeing, all right? Um, it's just getting past this, this energy here, this devil energy, okay? Which is fear, it's fear-based. Okay, right away, self-indulgence wanted to come out for how you two are moving forward together. 
focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation. That just may be what it is, right? Like there's, like I just said, there is a divine connection here. Even when with temperance, there's some healing happening, okay? There's some healing happening. So I feel like I am seeing lots of potential and there's a lot of fantastic energy here okay but there's also this presence of like um saturn okay um pluto you know capricorn scorpio energy so there's there's things that need to be broken down okay Uh, there's things that need to be processed. I keep getting that term. There needs, there's things that need to be processed um, in order for this connection to work. Okay. So I think a part of the process is healing. There's some healing that's happening here. So, you know, let's say for those of you that aren't speaking to who this is, um, there is shadow work being done. You know, the divine is kind of like, <laughs> this phrase keeps coming up, y'all. New level, new devil. New level, new devil. So it's like, yeah, sure. All right, we're leveling up here in our love life. This is great. This is fantastic. Then, you know, the devil's over here like, hey, that's great. Um, okay, we've, you, you've, this is great. This is fantastic. But uh, I'm still here, so. <laughs> and, you know, the devil, like it says, it could be. A number of things, you know, um, it's things that you or this person, I'm getting more so your person like is worried about. Okay. And in, in order to, what I'm hearing is like, it's almost like your person is, um, like being blocked from you or. There's something about like the the vibration being a little off here, Virgo. Okay. Because there's a fear that more so they need to face. In order to get to the emperor, it's like this person has to pass through this energy. Okay. And I feel like you're the emperor. Okay. There could be a very dominant father figure here as well, playing a big role. So yeah, shadow work, self-appreciation, time to heal, okay? So I f the healing process is probably the devil energy, okay? Shadow work is needed self-appreciation, okay, self-worth, right? Like you could have something or someone right in front of you that you truly do deserve, but you sit there and gaslight yourself into thinking that I don't deserve this for some reason. And that's a problem. And maybe it's one that your person really does need, really needs to dive into, okay? called um gaslighting yourself or uh what's what's the other term i'm getting here oh virgo what's the other term i'm getting here um imposter syndrome okay 
clarify. Now, for those of you that know that this is about, you know, with the emperor, the devil, and the lovers, if you know that this is, uh, there's something here about um, <clears throat> third party marriage, you know, things of that sort, apply that how you will. I'm not really speaking to that, uh, but, you know, yeah, as I say that, the Phoenix, I'm not really speaking to that energy, I don't think, but, you know, could be the case, but I don't think so. Um, so the Phoenix, your person, new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, and changed mind. I feel like this is, I, I, I'm getting like baptism by fire for your person here, Virgo. Okay. Baptism by fire. There's a Scorpio. Okay. So in order to, in order for your person, I feel like th this is just what's going on here for some reason. I don't know, Virgo, but your person is um facing a fear like there's something here that they are facing and it it isn't associated with forward movement with you because this person wants to move forward with you like they they see themselves um they they see you i feel as the emperor masculine feminine it doesn't matter uh, emperor to me as a reader uh, reader reads long term like this is long term energy so um, and you do have a lot of long term energy presence especially with the devil and the emperor okay um, again with that Saturn energy so it's like in order for us to step into another cycle another long cycle that seems like a blessing we also have to deal with our demons here. Okay. We have to go through the dark to get to the light. Okay. And maybe it's something dark about the connection or relationship. Okay. Because I see with you, I, I see you over here like, really you know doing the work doing the self-work right that that's your level of self-indulgence right but i think your person is showing up here like really doing some major like shadow work okay um and they're going through all these changes and they're going to emerge from it i saw that with temperance and the queen of wands okay um they're going to emerge from it It's kind of like, you know, when you, when you meet, when you meet or connect, um, I'm just going to use this for example, you, you meet someone and then you're like, oh man, I wasn't ready. Like, oh, that's why they say you got to, you got to get ready if you stay ready. Right. But no, I think for you, Virgo, I feel like you're looking at this person like, no, I think you're ready, but with you with the Queen of Swords and the King of Cups, I think for some reason, you know, again, you're showing up with this Emperor energy. For you, Virgo, you're like, and I say this to people too, like, I think you're looking at this person like, listen, I could see it all day. I could tell you you're great all day. I could, <laughs> you know, but... It's like you're you're telling your person, but if you don't believe that, then there, you know, it doesn't matter, but right? Like you could tell somebody they're great and you can speak life into people, but if they don't believe it and they don't see it, it doesn't matter, you know, unfortunately. Um, okay. Yeah. Show me Virgo. Mask. That's what, that's what I was getting with the, 
King of Cups and Queen of Swords in reverse for you, okay? Not showing your true feelings, hide, personify, pretend, delude, gaslighting. Now, I don't think you're over here gaslighting who this is, okay? Um, you know, cross watcher, if that's the case, if that's what you, you know, think is going on, then I'm not going to take that away from you either, but I'm reading for Virgo. Virgo, I don't think you're doing that. I think that you are, um... I think you're not showing your true feelings about some things here. And I think you're doing it for a, I'd have to say probably good reason. All right. Um, I kind of get a vibe from you where it's, it's like, well, if this person wants to know, they'll ask which is kind of very Virgo. Yeah. If this person wants to know, they'll ask me. That's what I think. But I also feel like, you know, you... There's plans. It's it's almost like you have things that you're thinking about, planning out when it comes to who this is. Okay. Another song wanted to come about plans. Oh, um, by Wale. Baby, I've been making plans for love. What's that song? He talks about getting married. Yeah, Seinfeld. He refers to that Seinfeld episode where he was like, you know, getting married is like a roller coaster. And... He's like, you know, you're going up and up and up and you hear the roller coaster going up. And he's like, okay, all right, this is, you know, uh, or no, it's this dating or getting married, something. And he talks about it and then he's like, you get to the, you know, you get to the highest point and then you're like, this is kind of scary. You know what I mean? Like, but. I don't, uh, anyway, just go, just, what, what's, what's that song called? What's that song called, Virgo? Just listen to the beginning part, and this is the vibe that I get from you. Sign of Wale. Matrimony, the matrimony. Yeah. Let me see, I'm going to turn it all the way down, so I don't need no copyright. And let me look at the lyrics. Getting engaged is like the first hill of the roller coaster. You hear those clickers, the loud sound, and you're like, this is really violent. <laughs> Metal, ka-chunk, chunk what's going on here? And he's like, boy, this, this thing is really, really, it's getting high. And you're looking down and you're like, oh shit. And then when you go over the top, the wedding is at the top, okay? Um, and then it's the wedding and you're screaming and you're laughing. So it says, even if you make plans, you never think you're really ready for marriage. Um, and Seinfeld says, no, it's like, it's like, a hold on. He said, no, it's like any growth. You can't be ready for it because it's growth. It's going to be new. You're going to have a new life. You're going to be a new person. Okay, that's what this reminds me of. It's growth. You're, you're never, and I feel like that's you. You understand that, Virgo. You're like, this is growth. Um, you're gonna be a new person. All right. So that's okay. That's what I'm seeing so far, Virgo. Please, uh, like. Leave a comment, subscribe. Let me say something. These readings, they are 
what they are. They are the length that they are. Um, because, you know, I just, I don't know. I enjoy doing the readings like this and I've kind of submitted to that. <laughs> You know, I want to get out, you know, readings as often as possible, but um, I've been told by my higher self that you've done this long enough. What do you feel? What feels good to you? And I'm like, this feels good. This feels good to me, you know? It feels genuine. It doesn't feel like I'm trying to do the reading and then get another reading out. Like it just feels, this feels genuine. So. Virgo. Here we go. Okay, so please, did I say this already? Hit the like button, subscribe. Make sure you hit the notifications bell. Feel free to leave a comment if, you know, anything really resonated for you. <clears throat> this did not even feel like 46 minutes, the reading. My ears are still popped, y'all. Here we go. All right, so this is what we're going to talk about coming up next. Coming up next. Unappreciated wanted to come out. Clarify how these two move forward together next, okay? Shadow side. See? <laughs> you made me realize my flaws. There's the shadow work, Okay. New level, new devil. And listen, if 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 the devil is not showing its ass, I'm gonna say it's right. If the devil is not showing its ass to you, you ain't really doing something right. When you're doing things right, you know, just like it says, new level, new devil, and that is to really test you. Like it is to be a testament to your growth. How are you going to handle this? Are you going to handle this from the, you know, um, new and improved version of yourself? Or are you going to revert back to old ways of reacting? Okay, so. And, you know, you, you're going to be so proud of yourself when you overcome these things. Um, clarify how these two move forward together next, Virgo, and the person on their mind. How are they moving forward together next? Okay, here we go. Keys on a ring, all right? Many options, decision, unconventional, string along, one night stand, okay? I'm just reading the meanings of it. Keys on a ring. I feel like this looks like, you know, could be your person feeling like, okay, so maybe I need to come at this in a different way. Okay, Virgo, you could be thinking that too. Like, maybe there's more than one way to handle the situation moving forward. We have options here. We can discuss options. That's coming through. Clarify how Virgo and their person. How are these two moving forward together? Universal or spirit of Virgo and their person. Okay. These but wow. Okay. They, I was like, should I take the two? There were two cards. Here we go. The Justice Cod. And the Wheel of Fortune. So. This looks like something being settled. I feel like this is her stepping in because the devil had like all the fire in the background. And this is all, almost like, you know, justice, um, something, the divine stepping in and being like, all right, you got it, you know, and now here's how we move forward. Growth, opportunity, prosperity, luck, abundance, which is beautiful, right? So it's almost like, the judgment rendered is um, very positive, okay? I think there's, um, I'm, I'm almost getting, oh, I just got a cold chill. What happens next, I'm almost getting is like, that decides the future of the direction of how this goes for a while, 
of how this connection goes okay so i'm just saying that for those of you that are not going to join me for the extended here's what i'm getting you're going to be presented with options it's almost like you know justice stepping in here like here are your options the choice is yours you need to decide what you're going to do here what are you going to present and then once that the evidence is presented okay um that's the direction that things are gonna go okay so i don't know i guess i'm saying that in a way if justice is coming in it's best to operate from a place of integrity um, morals honesty you know um doing something do onto others as you would have done onto you that type of energy okay that's what i'll say about that so virgo and this is also it's not just about an action being taken it's also about you know if you're presented yeah if you're presented something here virgo this is about operating from your higher self. If you want to be in alignment with, you know, a positive outcome and experience that you have been manifesting, if you want to get further into alignment, this is going to be a test from the universe coming up. That's what I'm seeing here. How bad do you really want this? Do you really want it? Okay. What are you willing to show for it? All right. Okie dokie. So I'm going to continue this on the second part of your reading, Virgo. The link for that will be in the description, top of the comments. We're going to talk about what's happening next. I'm going to pull the rest of the cards with you and your person. Um, we are going to pull cards on what would they like in this connection with you, Virgo? What do they think is going to happen? What outcome do I get for you to, I'm going to give you a timeline of when I see forward movement with you all. Um, and then we're going to pull advice from the crystal spirits deck. Okay. Which I love. And then, um, of course, pull advice from the cards. Okay. How should you be operating in this connection? Virgo, if you feel like that's going to be helpful, if that will be of assistance to you here, feel free to now click the link below for Vimeo and we will continue your reading. If this is where we part ways, thank you so much for watching your reading, especially if you watch the whole reading. <laughs> I appreciate you. Okay. Um, and I value you. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Peace.